but happened it, the previous yeah. year in Charlotte, North Carolina. Quite a remarkable uh, turnaround in one year. And they turned it around, beat Texas Tech in the finals in overtime. McNeely. Done. Rody tees it up and knocks it down. That is 13th in the ACC. Shot clock at 8 for Miller. Dunn cut him off, trying to stay with him. Miller back and down and scoring. So also Jake Groves has come in. He's got the ball right now. Trying to drive and calculate the angle, and he did it. Amazing. The Heels got the victory on the road in Coral Gables on this Saturday. Shot clock is at 5. McNeely's 5 feet behind the line, and he drains it. McNeely knocking down the three and he leads all scores right now with eight Virginia up 15-8 the finals of the ACC tournament which this year goes to Washington DC score it what you want from a post player you want him aggressively asking for the ball and, uh, and against this team turnovers are a rarity for them that was only the third of the game. Miller dropped it low. Corrin, great movement without the ball on the baseline by Corrin. How about his first field goal, Mike? One of five now and four points for Beekman. He's missed a couple of three-point tries. Not that last one. Warley with a spin. Oh, pretty move. Two and a half minutes to go in our first half, Beekman. And they've really calmed down McNeely in this stretch as well. Beekman slicing through the lane for two. So the lead is four. Beekman, gave it off Buchanan, double fested rim rocker from Beekman, guy Mike who leads the conference in assists. You see the two guys converge and the uh, freshman just following right behind him. Nine points to lead the way for Florida State, for a member of the championship team a season ago for VCU and that's Beekman. Both teams around 45% shooting so far in this game. Watkins, fall away over Rody. Green, tough catch on the pass. But even with that. Wow. So Beekman had the foul at the other end for Virginia. Bob Bob Miller with the three. And 68%. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's an empty possession. Beekman with a spin and driving to the rim. And he very quietly. Spears preserving the possession. Jackson stepping into the three. And knocking it down for the Seminoles. Taking shots and he'd be tacking inside. That'll help the field goal percentage. And so will it. Monster jam from Watkins. To make the, make, the, make the contact. And there it is. This is the play that got the crowd going. The pick in the... Harris, Miller swiped at it and got it. And he's had some terrific blocks coming from behind. Jackson, oh! down the road, score the bucket and the foul. Taylor Jackson. There it is, really well built and then just the... Beekman stepping back, not enough on it. Jackson right up the middle, looking for the rim. Jackson scored it, Taylor Jackson. Florida State ahead 66.08 to 66.07. Score it for Beekman. It's simple, basic basketball, the curl, getting to his right hand, finish, maybe getting away a little bit with that left arm, but. Uh... So Green has made 54 three pointers this season to lead the team, as Mike just mentioned. 0 for 5. Worley puts it up top for Bob Miller. Chan, Florida State. McNeely, that's six or seven feet behind the line. Way behind it. Green still has not scored in the game. He's 0 of 6 from the floor. This is Jackson knifing his way to the rim. He's going back to the free throw line. Those are, you know, for right now, I mean, that, that just a, a silly foul. The last thing you want to do is stop. 
Virginia is not a good free throw shooting team. Tonight they are. Over 80%. Watkins staying with it. He was looking for contact as well. One minute remaining. Final minute. McNeely trying to build on his career high. Wow. And he did it with a three ball. 20 seconds to go. Green hasn't made one all night. Miller deflects it. Jackson throws it up. He misses. Green grabs it. He scores and he's going to the free throw line. Wow, <laughs> what a time to make your first basket of the game. Just kind of tipped it to himself, kept it a lot. That's the first miss by McNeely. House launches it, hits the rim, and that'll do it. Wow, what a finish. 80-76, Tony Bennett's team has now won eight in a row, Mike, and four in a row on the road in the ACC. 